On this journey, we're gonna take a deep dive into the careers of Kevin Durant and the legend Larry Bird. We're gonna break down their stats, their skills, their talents, their NBA resumes to determine, was Larry Bird better than Kevin Durant? Stick around. Welcome back to Journey of a Baller Hall, the best talk show for basketball addicts. I'm your host, General Hannibal Lex. Now listen, if you're looking for passionate and in-depth analysis on the hottest NBA and college basketball topics, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure you also tap that notification bell so that anytime I drop a new video, you get that update, which is every Monday and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, let's go ahead and break down the player comparison criteria. Now, this is the criteria that we used in the last episode, and we're going to use for each one of the episodes to keep things as unbiased as possible. We're going to cover the defense, the dribbling ability, the shooting, the finishing ability at the rim, as well as their passing and their rebounding. Um, and we're going to kind of just lump all that together as what we consider to be the eye test. But we know we have to dig a little bit deeper than that, so we're going to also break down their stats, look at the awards that they got amongst their peers, and ultimately, we got to look at how did they affect their team's winning, because that's what the game is all about. All right, let's go ahead and break down the defense in between these two players. We'll start with Larry Bird because he was a real interesting defender. As we know, he wasn't very athletic. I mean, he didn't have an outrageous wingspan like Kevin Durant. However, what Larry Bird did have, especially during the era that he played in, was a hard-nosed mentality. Larry Bird was one of those blue-collar workers that literally brought his lunch pail every single day to work. And he grinded. He stuck his nose in there and got in there with some of the bigger guys, some of the tougher guys, the stronger guys, and he didn't care. And I think that's how he earned the respect of those players during his era is that they knew. Larry Bird was not going to back down from any competition, any elbow, anything. And I think that's what made him a really good defender, um, especially during his time period, despite his lack of, um, of, of athletic ability. Now, Kevin Durant on the other end, he did become a legitimate rim protector once he got to Golden State. But prior to that, he didn't really have that defensive intensity and mentality that you want. And I think on the defensive side, that's really what it's all about. It's truly about effort. And Larry Bird gave that effort every single game. And I think he came into the league. So I have to give that a defensive advantage to Larry Bird despite Kevin Durant's insane athletic ability. All right, let's jump right into the dribbling category. Now, this right here is really a difference of the eras that they grew up in, whereas Kevin Durant grew up more so in the and one, you know, more of the showmanship, uh, you know, a lot of the sham god type moves that was out there. But Larry Bird was more of a simplistic era. You know, it really was just about being more efficient with your handles, you know, one or two dribbles, make the move that you need to get your shot off and or to get to the basket. But Kevin Durant, I mean, his ability with that long wingspan that he has and his, he really, he really is a guard. I mean, at seven feet tall, he truly has guard skills and his ability to go left get his defender leaning go back right uh it, it's kind of special at that size and i think that's truly what made kevin durant specials and more of an offensive threat than even larry bird was was because of that ability to isolate a defender get him one-on-one -on -one, and really create his own shot he really became unguardable uh, and i think that's one on top of his shooting is one of the things that kind of makes durant one of the best scorers that ever is now speaking of the shooting category this right here is probably going to be the toughest category to decipher between these two because both of these are elite I mean elite shooters all time Larry Bird is special I mean he's one of the most clutch shooters that the game has ever seen Kevin Durant as well I mean both of these guys like I said when it comes to putting the ball in the basket this is what they did and they did it at a supreme level Larry Bird was a little different like I said because he didn't have that ability to create his shot as often or as easy as uh, Kevin Durant did Larry Bird had to rely more so on hitting tough shots but listen don't get it twisted Larry Bird had a mean Mean, mean jab step and it allowed him to be able to get the open shots that he needed to be able to shoot over defenders or literally put them on their ass I mean Kevin Durant like I said he's got the handles to be able to get himself open shots but I think his size I think that's one of the things that gives him more of an advantage because once again Larry Bird at 6'9 was could shoot over defenders but Kevin Durant at 7 feet he literally is seeing over all the defense. It's not many guys out there that have his size to be able to defend, to put a hand up that can contest that. And I think we have to give that shooting edge to Kevin Durant. Like, how are you supposed to stop that? A seven foot sniper? Like, he, he's basically dirt and whiskey shooting with guard handles. Like, he can. He, how do you stop that? How do you stop that? All right, let's jump right into the finishing category. Now, when it comes to finishing, finishing is not just about dunking, even though we know Larry Bird has been known to put a couple guys on some posters. But finishing is about being crafty around the basket as well. 
Do you have that ability to take contact, to be able to, to finish, and not just finish, but being able to finish creative way? And I think Larry Bird did that. You know, he understood that he wasn't able to be a Skywalker. You know, he wasn't like Michael Jordan or Dominique back in the day. So he had to find out ways to be able to play below the rim and still be efficient. However, in today's modern game, some of the best players are those who actually jump above the rim. And Kevin Durant is one of them. Like I said, he's got a 7'3", seven, 7'4", seven, inch wingspan. And when he goes to the basket, he uses every inch of that wingspan. I mean, it's hard to be able to guard somebody who has that ability to shoot, as we just talked about, and has the ability to face you up, to go right by you. But even off the ball, even in transition, is still a factor. You have to keep your eye on him at everywhere he is on the court because he's that dominant and he's that elusive when it comes to being able to catch it one dribble one or two long gigantic steps and he's right at the rim i mean once again let's, let's also keep this in mind the errors do matter and so in this era where it's not as physical contact as it was back during bird's time yes it's easy for Durant to go in with his smaller frame and to be able to go in and finish but we got to give him credit for being able to do it at an elite level so when it comes to finishing i got to give Durant that edge now, let's go ahead and jump right on to pass. Now, this is where things, to me, is really kind of a landslide. And, and I think it favors Larry Bird, <laughs> hands down. This guy, I mean, listen, Larry Bird was special. His ability to see plays happen before they actually happen, it was special. I mean, listen, Durant, he could pass, but Durant is nowhere near on the level of passing as it comes to Larry Bird. Durant was able to find open guys. Larry Bird was able to create opportunities for guys that weren't didn't really seem to be there i mean he was just he had that special ability to do that and i think durant spending time with golden state was able to learn some of those abilities but larry had it yo do you see these passes listen larry was nice with it that ability just the one hand tip pass the overhand pass like he was he, he was magic johnson ish magic johnson ish you know he didn't he, he didn't have the wizardry the magic had with it you know, but Larry was nice, man. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at the rebounding category. Now, this right here was real interesting because Larry Bird, like I said, he wasn't very athletic. But what he also did was he played in an era that was actually had better big men. But despite all of that, he's the better rebounder than Kevin Durant. It's just that simple. Larry Bird had a nose for the ball, knowing how to position his body, how to, the timing of it. You know, a lot of the rebounding is about effort, but it's also about timing. Being able to see the trajectory of the ball and being able to position yourself and jump at the right time to position yourself to be able to grab that rebound, whether it's on the offense and or the defensive glass. Larry Bird had that. Kevin Durant, like I said, he has the athletic advantage, but when it comes to rebounding, I've got to give that advantage to Larry Bird. Uh, moving on to the stats category, as we said, Bird, he wins when it comes to rebounding. He also wins when it comes to assists. And even though he's the better defender, Kevin Durant is the better shot blocker. Kevin Durant, hands down, is the better scorer. But when it comes to playoff statistics and even the peak prime stats, as a total, when we're looking at everything together, I have to give Larry Bird the advantage when it comes to stats, even though Durant is the better scorer. In the awards category, like I said, both of them are filled up with awards. Um, but Kevin Durant has one less uh, MVP than him. He's got a couple less all-star appearances. Um, also, when it comes to first-team All-NBA, he's got a couple less there in the amount of years that they've each played. Now, Kevin Durant has never made an all-defensive team, while Larry Bird has four all-defensive teams and has made the second team once as well. Both are Rookie of the Year. Uh, but when it comes to awards, I have to give that to Larry Bird. And when it comes to winning, I think it's very simple. You've got to be able to take your team to the playoffs. You've got to be able to get to the finals and you've got to be able to win championships. Larry Bird has done all of those things better than what Kevin Durant has done. Yes, we know injury played a factor in it, but at the end of the day, Larry Bird was injured as well. You know, he had a bad back he had to deal with, and despite that, he still has more rings, more finals appearances, more playoff appearances, so I have to give him that, that advantage. And also, when we're looking at the how successful someone is we also have to look at their competition not just from a team standpoint but the individual competition and Larry Bird and Durant played against some of the best to ever do it I mean Larry Bird had many of battles with Dominique Wilkins I mean he damn near went to blows with with Dr. J uh whether it was Bernard King I mean Scottie Pippen like these guys literally 
had battles on a nightly basis. Durant as well. I mean, both these guys literally had some of the top small forwards of all time going up against them in their head-to-head -head matchups. And I think that's one of the things that makes these guys so special is that a lot of times they stood out above their competition. I mean, Larry Bird was one of the best small forwards in his era. The best, actually. Uh, Kevin Durant, uh, even though he's not the best small forward in his era, I think his battles with Paul Pierce, some of those battles he had with Carmelo Anthony, um, Kawhi Leonard, I mean, the, the list goes on and on as far as some of the guys that Carmelo, uh, excuse me, that Kevin Durant has done battle with, as well as Larry Bird. And I think the competition factor, it kind of, it's, it's very balanced. I, I think one of the things that kind of leans in Kevin Durant's favor is his battles he had with LeBron James. I mean, as we know, LeBron is the best small forward to ever play the game, and Kevin Durant has gone up against LeBron, not just in the regular season, but they met in the finals on three occasions. And Kevin Durant has won two of those three meetings. So, yes, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of different factors that go into that. But Kevin Durant, like I said, when it comes to competition, I have to give him a slight edge there as well. Um, just because of the guys that he's done it up against. Even though Larry Bird, like I said, he played against some of the greatest, um, like James Worthy as well. Um, you know, um, Alex Eng English. So, it's a lot of other guys that we have yet to mention. But from a competition standpoint, I think this is what makes it really tough to kind of figure out who's over who. Man, this is this is a tough one here. This is a tough one, tough one here. I mean, that they're, they're very evenly matched. I mean, clearly, I, I think, like I said, to me, they're both top three. Um, you know, some could argue top five, you know, but to me, the top three small forwards in the game. I think LeBron, Larry Bird, and, and, and Kevin Durant are hands down to me the top three small forwards to ever play the game. Um But obviously there's pros and cons for both of them. Um I've got to, I've got to give the edge just slightly, still just ever so slightly. I got to give the edge to Larry Bird. Kevin Durant is coming, and I think the injury definitely, you know, could did change things. I mean, because had he won that championship last year, maybe this is a whole different conversation. Maybe having three championships with the three Finals MVPs would have been enough to surpass uh, Larry Bird. But unfortunately, we have to deal with things as they are, not as they would have been. And the reality is, Kevin Durant got injured. He only has two championships, though he has an amazing career and could still continue to add on more and could pass Larry Bird one day. As of today, I've got Larry Bird still ranked higher than Kevin Durant. So what do you think? Kevin Durant, Larry Bird, they're both top five small forwards of all time. But how would you rank them? Who do you think is the better of the two? Do you think Larry Bird was better than Kevin Durant? Go down to the comment section below and let me know who you would rank higher in the all-time small forward list. Listen, as always, I appreciate you for stopping by to take a look at this video. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button and also tap that notification bell so that you can stay updated with the journey of a ballaholic.